We begin tonight with developing news as restoration crews across Western Mass pick up the pieces left from last night's damaging storm. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here for Western Mass News at 6. I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. Chris Pisano is off tonight. Tropical Storm Isaias keeping crews busy in Springfield who are cleaning up widespread damage. Their efforts hampered by a massive water main break this morning. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live from East Columbus Ave with an update on both. Audrey? Water officials say the water main break had nothing to do with the storm, but that it was an unfortunate coincidence that's going to keep this stretch of East Columbus Avenue closed for a couple of days. Now, earlier this morning, many people were without power and also losing water pressure at the same time. City officials say one of those problems is easier to fix than the other. The valves around the break have been shut, so to isolate it. Springfield Water and Sewer Commission spokesperson Jamie Bartak says the Wednesday morning water main break on East Columbus Ave has been stopped. The only thing that will take a few days to repair is the road that had to be dug up to fix the pipe. It'll take a few more days after that to restore the road. It's the biggest puddle of water I've seen in quite some time. People walking by the mess had faith in the crews cleaning it up. We had uh, all kinds of tragedies and we got through all of them and we'll get through this. We're a very strong, resilient community. Crews will need a lot of that faith over the next few days as widespread damage from Tropical Storm Isaias isn't a cut and dry fix. Western Mass News cameras capturing down trees and power lines on multiple streets, including Falston. Another section of tree came down and decimated my garden. Leslie Prentice has lived in Springfield for 65 years. While he has seen storm damage before, Isaias brought a close call with a tree in his yard. I was underneath it when it came down, but it didn't touch me. It's unbelievable. Prentice says he's one of a few houses on that stretch of road still to have power. Earlier this morning, city officials said as many as 10,000 people in the city were in the dark. Longtime residents say the only thing that's predictable about Mother Nature's wrath, how unpredictable damage will be afterwards. You don't know about it far enough ahead of time to be scared. Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno issuing an emergency declaration this morning because of both the water main break and the storm damage. He says the goal is to try to get some state and federal funds to reimburse the cleanup costs currently being shouldered by the city. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News. Audrey, thanks. The Springfield Water and Sewer Commission also dealing with two wastewater discharge situations into the Chicopee and Connecticut rivers. They tell Western Mass News the Chicopee River incident occurred last night due to a storm-related outage at the Indian Orchard pump station, spilling between 500,000 to 750,000 gallons of untreated wastewater into the river. The other one happened this morning as a result of the water main break on East Columbus Avenue that we just mentioned. The break causing a wastewater pump station station to overflow unintentionally unintentionally releasing 2.1 million gallons of waste into the Connecticut River. They tell Western Mass News the Massachusetts and Connecticut Environmental Protection Agencies have been notified of both breaks. We continue our team coverage with utility crews working nonstop to restore power after thousands were left in the dark following yesterday's storm. Western Mass News reporter Sarah Grinelli spoke with Eversource and has a look at the damage left behind up north. Sarah? Jordan, I mean, take a look at this right here. This widespread damage looks like a scene that's happening across Western Mass. That tree toppling on top of not one, but three cars are underneath it. And we spoke with one woman in Huntington who says her driveway is blocked in by trees just like this one. Tropical storm Isaias made its mark on Western Mass, leaving residents with stories to share on Wednesday. So all I could see was a like rotating cloud coming out my my house and I was like, oh my God, grab the kids. Western Mass News spoke on the phone with Ashley Sabota, who lives on Goss Hill Road in Huntington. Cell phone video shows the destruction in her yard. Tree branches sprawled across the area. We grabbed the kids, ran in the basement, could just hear banging and smashing. My garage door was like buckling, bending in at us. Our driveway is completely blocked. We had a big like maple tree on the corner of our driveway. 
Sabota, like many others in Western Mass, is without power. Eversource spokesperson Priscilla Rest says crews are working as quickly as they can. They even have contractors here from Canada. This restoration has been extremely challenging, but we are really making significant progress. We have been working around the clock. We brought in um, a lot of contractors. To More than 30,000 Eversource customers in Western Mass have had their power restored so far. In um, the broader Western Massachusetts, we expect the power will be back um, by midnight tonight. In Springfield, it's going to take a little longer, unfortunately, and it's going to be Thursday by midnight. We expect to have power significantly restored to our customers. Now, Russ wants to remind people that if you have wires like these ones dangling down in your neighborhood, do not approach them or go near them because they still could be active and live. Live in Springfield, I'm Sarah Grinelli for Western Mass News. Good advice there, Sarah. Thanks. Our team coverage turns to three Western Mass families literally stuck inside their homes right now because of trees and wires surrounding them in Hampshire County in Huntington. Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis is live in downtown Springfield after speaking with one of those families. Leon? Yes, Jordan, Larry and Jean Bean were home when the storm rolled through yesterday and they are without power. Now take a look at your screen. This is where the uh, photos of the damages leading to the Hollow Clark Road home where they have lived for 40 years. Many large trees down, power lines too. The couple tells me the tangled mess is similar to what they experienced in October of 2011 when a snowstorm passed passed through western Massachusetts. Minus the snow, they say they were without power for 10 days, but hope it's not that long this time. It's very unsettling when you think you might have an emergency. We're, we're in our 70s. I'm 77, she's 74, and we both have health issues. And if we have an emergency, we can go nowhere. The town of Huntington Highway superintendent who shared these photos with Russian Mass News says they will do everything they can to help folks in Huntington who are stuck like the Beans is. Fire ambulance police, don't be afraid to call any one of us. We will get personnel to you. Um, as far as power company, they have not given us an ETA, so we can't do it to them. But we are here for the public, and we do what we have to to make everybody secure and safe. Eversource provides power to Hollow Clark Road, and while there's no timeline for these customers, Eversource did tell Western Mass News that they hope to have most of the outages restored in Western Massachusetts by midnight tonight. Live in Springfield, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News. Leon, thanks. New at 6, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts announcing tonight that it's returning $101 million to customers and members due to lower than anticipated medical costs during the COVID-19 emergency. The company tells Western Mass News the credits will be applied in September and reflective on the next invoice for fully insured, insured employer groups and members. It's expected to total 15% of their May 2020 medical premium. And for more coverage on the coronavirus emergency as it develops, be sure to log on to our free streaming Western Mass News app. New tonight out of East Hampton, the city is closing its pond and lower mill pond, two of its ponds, to swimming and boating after observing possible blue-green algae blooms in both. Signs will be posted at all access points at both ends. The East Hampton Health Department is advising residents and their pets to avoid contact with the water until the advisory is lifted. They tell Western Mass News health concerns from the bacteria and the blooms vary in levels of exposure, and it can result in skin and eye irritation or even asthma-like symptoms if it's inhaled. Unfortunately, when we don't have a lot of rain to kind of move that water along and the water becomes pretty still, we start to see those algae blooms. That's Nashawanock Pond and Lower Mill Pond there in East Hampton having those concerns. Our Springfield Skycam showing the dry conditions. We're starting to really get rid of a lot of those clouds. Really going to be a fantastic evening if you want to dine outside or maybe you want to crack those windows open with the lack of air conditioner. Uh, we are going to have some really nice stuff. Heading into this evening, temperatures falling from the 80s, eventually into the 70s and 60s, some places ending up in the 50s overnight. Our satellite radar scanning dry. There have been a couple of sprinkles here or there, but nothing to worry about. 
We're going to repeat that into tomorrow. Another fantastic day in the forecast for your Thursday. So tonight falling into the middle 50s, clear and cool. A refreshing overnight, I think, pretty soon. As soon as that sun sets, you're going to see those temperatures dipping pretty quickly. Tomorrow, waking up with some sunshine, expecting sunshine really throughout the entire day. Very comfortable stuff, middle 80s. And I think it's going to have a refreshing feel, too, with dew points on the uh, decrease throughout the afternoon and evening. In fact, I think we could be in the 40s for some of those dew points into the evening. Now, we do have some showers in the forecast in the seven-day.